Haunting photos of animals turned to stone by the caustic waters of Lake Natron took a world by storm after wildlife photographer Nick Brandt captured images of crusty corpses found in the region back in 2013, with a human who fell into the Tanzanian Soda Lake of the same way. Watch the video till the end to find out. Hello and welcome to our channel, Curious Media. Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Now, let's start with the video. What makes Lake Natron's water so dangerous? Before we take the plunge, let's take a closer look at Lake Natron. This Tanzanian lake, like a dead sea, does not drain into any seas or rivers. This permits it to absorb all of the salty desert rain. Its proximity to the active volcano, all going Olengai, makes it exceptionally dangerous. The volcano spews natrocarbonatite, or natron for short, a unique type of lava rich in sodium and potassium carbonate, releasing into the water. This combination of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate was previously utilized in Egyptian mummification, generating the ideal preservative in lake form. The entire chemical makeup is very alkaline, with pH levels similar to ammonia, 10.5. This is what gives the lake its rose color. Any birds that dive and don't make it out become calcified in a hardened stone-like husk. It's like slaying two birds with one stone. Nick Brandt, a wildlife photographer, was among the first to capture this event in 2013. During the dry season, after the water had subsided, he discovered several stone birds and other unlucky animals. He reasoned that because the lake is so mirror-like and reflecting, the birds must have flown right in as if it were a large glass door. Despite the fact that many birds have died in Lake Natron, one species is thriving. What kind of creatures live there? The lake's toxic waters, it turns out, provide a safe sanctuary from predators, making it ideal for flamingo flocking grounds. So if flamingos can do it, why can't we? It's not quite that straightforward. Unfortunately, flamingos flourish in salty lakes because of their strong skin and scaly legs, which protect them from burns. They can sip fresh water from adjacent springs or geysers on the lake's edge. They may even filter salt water with unique glands in their nasal canals if they are desperate enough. To top it all off, their powerful stomachs allow them to consume the deadly algae found throughout the lake. This makes Lake Natron an ideal location for them to nurture and safeguard their young. More than 2 million lesser flamingos use the shallow lake as their major breeding place in Africa throughout the breeding season. The nests of the flamingos are established on little islands that grow in the lake during the dry season. Could you survive if you fell in? Suppose we tried to live like a flamingo and decided to go for a swim. Well, it depends. Based on the time of year, the water can reach 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to cause third degree burns in five seconds or less. Also, I wouldn't attempt any spectacular dives or cannonballs because the shallowness is filled with sharp, salty structures. You wouldn't turn to stone overnight. However, if you drown and remain underwater, your entire body will harden and be preserved. If you were discovered hundreds of years later, your hair and organs might still be intact. Yeah, you're still looking good after all these years. Natron's abnormally high alkalinity, like mummification, halts the breakdown process. Fortunately, you'd be protected from vultures and other hungry scavengers hunting for a snack. It might seem more like a hot tub if you waded into the lake while the water temperature was lower. However, the salt would burn your eyes and any open wound severely. If I were you, I'd put on some goggles. Has anyone ever fallen into Lake Natron? Several helicopter crashes have occurred around Lake Natron, some of which may have occurred for the same reason why so many migrating birds end up in the water. One such helicopter flew right into this toxic mix in 2007. When their helicopter crashed, a group of wildlife videographers were thrown into Lake Natron's toxicity. The pilot had a broken leg, while another passenger suffered a broken hip. Surprisingly, one of the passengers made it to land and notified the Maasai tribespeople nearby. They quickly constructed stretchers and rushed the injured to safety. Even if you could withstand the waters of Lake Natron, I'd stick to a swimming pool if I were you. As for our flamingo pals, it only goes to show how even the toughest settings may provide a safe haven for some animals. That was it for today's video, guys. What are your thoughts on the video? Do let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.